Okay, in this video, let's talk about how to um, link to something in your Google Drive. Okay, so let me go find my Google Drive there. I've searched for Drive here, and I'm going to open up my Google Drive. So this is my Google Drive, and of course it looks a little bit different, you know, since I'm a teacher. I've got lots of stuff in here I've been working. Look at all my stuff I have in here for badges. It's all full in here. But um, I've got this beautiful frog poem that I want to make a blog post about. So I'm going to scroll down here because I've got it saved just in my drive. It's not in a folder anywhere. And of course it's alphabetical and I find it right here. This here it is right here, Frog Poem Green. It's a beautiful little frog poem and so I want to share that on my blog post. So this is what I do. You find whatever file you want to share, whether it's a movie file or a JPEG, you know, whatever you want, a photo, and you can link that off of your blog post. So this is how you get it. You, you find whatever file you have, and sometimes there might be squares on here, but they all have the same button. And that's these three little dots over here. That opens up this side menu and I can just say, get link. Okay, so now I get a little thing down here saying, it's copied that link to my clipboard. So I have a copy to the link of Frog Poem here. So now I can go over to my Blog Touch Pro and I can create a new blog post. And I'm gonna give it a title of Frog Poem. I'm gonna give it the label of Poems so I can find it later when I have to. Okay, and I'm going to then, um, um, well, first I'm going to write some things. I'm going to say, hey, comma, check out my poem about frogs. Okay, then I'm going to put a couple returns down, and then I'm going to paste the link in right below it. Paste. Okay, so there's the link and it's all ready to go. And then just to make things look really good, I'm gonna add a photo to this page because I want to have a photo of a frog on here. So I put a, another couple of uh, returns on it and then I'm going to um, tap on the little photo button here. I want to go to my gallery. Okay, and then go get this cute little photo of a frog. Let's go put him in there. Of course, I'm gonna resize it because that's way too big. We're gonna get that to a more reasonable size. We're gonna publish that. Wait for it to upload to the network here. Okay, so we're good to go. Let me go ahead and take a look what that looks like on my actual post. Okay, that's looking really good. And as you can see, it's got the link in there and everything's ready to go. So I can just click on the link right there and it will go and actually open up the file for me. There it is, my poem right there. So um, a beautiful poem about a frog coming in from my Google account. So that works with anything you have on your Google Drive. You can copy. Let me go back over here so you can see what that looks like. So that could be a link to a video. It could be a link to you know anything that can go in Google. You can make it a link there. Now, they don't actually get to see the poem in here, so I could copy and paste the poem in if I wanted to. But if it was like a live document that's constantly changing, then this is a really cool way to do it, see? So you can have a link there to a live document that's, that's, that could be changing, and it could be really neat. So that's how you link to anything on your Google Drive.